Hello, hello, good afternoon. Hey, what are we doing today? Well, I'm off work, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I had three holidays and they said you had to use them before the end of November. Or else you might lose them. Bollocks, not losing anything, but... I thought I'd play the game because I've been putting some wallpaper in off for a while. And uh, while I'm paper, well, I haven't started yet, I've just been down to Accrington for some wallpaper. Uh, and the first job is to <laughs> empty the wardrobe of all my leathers. Uh, I've mentioned before, in fact I've done a upload before but I deleted it in case you thought I was mad. I probably am, or was. I just used to keep buying leathers because it's such a pain to get stuff to fit. Whenever I f tried something on, I just had to have it. Whether it be Manchester Bike Show, uh, Hunter Class Leathers, is a Greyhound emblem on their leathers. Um, Matlock Bath, Biker's Gearbox, he had a stall at Manchester, I'd buy something off, off him every year. <coughs> uh, well, I got these, what can you see? It's a bit dark. I put big light on, I put big light on! These are American made. Okay, it's even got its own label, Biker's Gearbox. That's a new book leather one, and uh, because I liked it so much, I got a shiny, a shiny leather one. Pocket there for uh, whatever. Well, these days be a mobile phone, but I got it because it was like a glasses pocket for a glasses case. Inside pocket, only one I think. Yeah, they only have one this design. Biker jacket with chrome waist expanders on, they call them. For fat bastards. That's not branded. That's my JTS, oops, JTS bib and brace, which I wear in winter. It's just dusty, it's not uh, gone down for anything. That's my padded knees, JTS, with braces. That's my armoured, I say armoured, it's just got padding in. Padded jacket, it's got a back protector. So it's a foam, double layer of foam. That's from a place in Preston called Stevens Leathers. Size 60. <laughs> Although I wear that with a fleece under or a body warmer in winter. Right, I'll knock uh, this off for now, turn these lights off. Do, 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 do. Pretty not here to help with the wallpaper, and it's a real pain in the ass because I did it all this time last year, and for some peculiar reason, because that's meant to be a Whitby. Let me see, 3D dragon. <sighs> yeah, it's a pain in the ass because it's all coming off again. Why would paper come off? I've had a, I didn't use cr uh, cheap paste. Maybe should have painted the wall first with PVA glue and water solution. <sighs> the pain. So all that's coming off. I mean, I might be able to use it again if it just comes off loose. Look at that. I might be able to just paper it back on again. But I had a lot of trouble with damp. Well, not me, my wall did. <laughs> Although. <coughs> Yeah, there were some black spots appeared last year, so I sprayed some bleach solution on, mould killer, and they slightly came back, so I dolloped loads of paint on. And now the bloody paper's coming off. I made a right neat job as well. I mean, that stuck. I think I used uh, some decorator's caulk on that, just to get it in that little, you know, area at the side of the window frame. I don't know. Yes, my beetle posters are still up. I know it's silly, but they help to cover the damp spots. <laughs> <coughs> so, like I said, the first job is to move this big bloody display come bootcase, move all the stuff, put it on that sideboard. And my favourite program just started, Escape to the Country. Yeah, which I could, and if they have damp problems. <coughs> So I'll just move the heavy books, move this to one side, 
Although it's all going to have to come out, I think. All the bloody lots. But like I said, the first job. Let's move that light. Look at that picture. <laughs> the original of that was that big. And with me SLR old film camera, I took a close up of that funny picture of McCartney when he was 14. I had it made into a poster for 11.95. Took it to Manchester when he was there with his band in 2003 and I was waving that about and the cameraman spotted it, zoomed in on it <laughs> and it was on the big screen and McCartney saw it and it made him stumble through Hey Jude, Hey Jude, um, <coughs> don't make it bad because the audience laughed at the funny picture Good, caused McCartney embarrassment Hmm, oh, no black spots that isn't even loose, it's just loose at the bloody edges, I don't understand. But I'm taking this old crappy paper off, putting this back on. I'm not sure what that is, did I paint it with stone paints? That wouldn't help it stick very well, would it? Like I said, a quarter PVA meant is meant to make things stick better. Anyway, I should be showing you these letters as it's a bike of channeling in other Ah, <laughs> oh, did I shut you in, Ginger? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, it's alright, you don't often shut me cats in wardrobe. Sorry, Ginger. Goodbye. <laughs> I was just uh, having a sort of preview before I got my camera helmet on. Yes, yeah, so we'll do this quickly. I'll show you what I've been wasting my money on. Oh, like I said, I just bought them because I thought oh, it'll come in handy in the future. And of course, leathers will last you 20 or 30 years if you look after them, so there's no need to keep buying them. Right, that's just a cheap, that's the first jacket I got in the 80s from Manchester Underground Markets, close since that bombing. <coughs> that's a denim jacket style. Uh, Denny jacket style waistcoats, leather jeans, Let's see, these are 44s, yep 44s when I was a fat bastard, so they're worn, not worn worn you know, but they're being worn, you don't want to buy second hand leathers, although they are clean, hello oh, blackie, goodbye, what's that, yeah, Ooh. That is my uh, sit-up, they call them crunchies, don't they? It's been in wardrobe for years. Don't need it, look at that. Eh? It's a sheet of muscle. It used to be a bouncy castle. Now it's a trampoline of muscle. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah, hunter class, that's hunter class. Can you see, upside down. It's a greyhound, size 42. Lace legs, no, lace up legs. But I don't think they have any padding. No. Join at the knee. They say they shouldn't have joints on the knee, good quality leathers, but it is good thick leather. Can't see on this camera, but it looks like it's about two mil thick. It's all Indian, isn't it? It's uh, Indian leather they use. Oh, that's just a, a drape type jacket I got. I thought it looked a bit teddy boy style, so I got that from the shop in Liverpool. It's in Central Station, a really good leather shop, and it's still there. I called in when I went to that Beatles back in August. What's that doing in there? I used to wear that. Suede bomber jacket, like a bouncy jacket, Max and Paddy. Get back, you must still break your legs. More leather jeans size of them, 42 I think they're just plain, no padding you know what I mean, just plain jeans good thing about them, they're from that shop in Liverpool the entire pocket's leather, you know instead of being bloody cotton which rips the entire pocket's leather so you can put your keys in, no trouble and you lose change and they're never going to wear out really nice quality them Can you hear me all right? <laughs> and that's just a summer jacket I got. 
from the shop in Blackpool that went bust. <coughs> Another denim jacket style. Is that the thicker one? There's one slightly thicker than the other. I've got another downstairs. How many have I got? Three. That's a Honda class uh, new book leather lace ups. Uh, I think they're on worn. A oh, Honda class with the grey end on. What size are them? Do, 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 do. 42 again. Yeah, I saw it just settled on 42. Two inch. Oh, shit. I wondered if that had ever started a dreaded bloody mildew spot. It's just beginning. New book gets it worse than normal leather. Shit. They're going to have to be stored elsewhere, not contaminating the rest of my stuff. Bugger. I used to have some little dehumidifier things in here, them little grains, granules. And I should get some again. I'll get some tomorrow. Bugger. You know, I used to have a pair of these downstairs on the back door. And one particularly wet summer, they went all spotty like that, and I just dumped them in the bin. Even though they were 55 quid, I remember paying 55 pound for two pair. No, 55 pound each. Bloody mildew and mould. And a pain in ass. <sighs> So that's half of the wardrobe. <laughs> Clear. <coughs> Another bite of Jackie like the one downstairs. The new one. Oh no. Yeah, I was. I got three because only seventy-five quid. Uh, it was called Stevens Leathers in in uh, Preston, and two shops in Blackpool, one in Preston. And in the window I look like it were all women's things. Do you have any men's back jackets? Yeah, just one in, sh in stock. One style. Tried it on. Mouth's too big, but I said, well, it's for winter. I'm going to wear a fleece and a body warmer to work. Oh, yeah, be I said, how much? 75. I said, wow. I didn't say they were half the price of the ones I'd just been looking at in Stuart's leathers nearby. I said, have we got any more? Yeah, we've got three in stock. I said, well, I'll have all three. Can I come out next week and pick the other two up? And I'll wear this one home. So this is the first one I got and I went back. Got the one downstairs and there's another new one in this wardrobe. But the first thing to go is the little zip tag so I put a Honda keyring on. And your money in these pockets. No. Alright, so it's halfway through. The idea of this is, <laughs> if there's any other large people out there that want some, you know, you can have them cheap. That's a nice bomber style jacket, two zips there. It's like a flying jacket style, that. that's what I used to call it. It's nice, isn't it? Three, oh, it says 2XL, but it's actually about 48, 50, maybe 52. That's more of them good quality leathers. Well, these are the Levi's 501 style, I remember buying them. Size of them. 42 again. Very nice, damp feel leathers, you know what I mean? There's some crappy plasticky ones, but all mine are nice, damp feel, good quality. You could wear them out clubbing, couldn't you? If you're a John Travolta fan. <coughs> oh. BGs. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got a few of these, uh, about four of these coats. Big winter overcoats. 52. <coughs> I went a bit crazy, I don't know, like I said. Because I liked them, I went back and got some more in different sizes. Not a waistcoat. Oh, High Rock Cafe badge to London. I wore that to London years ago. Yeah, that's a waistcoat. Adjustable. Uh, so 
Yeah, this is not, not only 52. Oh, that's a 54 one. So it's 52, 54. To wear with a woolly jumper. <laughs> and or a fleece. And this one. 52 again. Is that the one I've worn? There's one uh, sort of unworn. Oh, where's the other one then? Should be another somewhere. As it's downstairs. There's one size 56, you know, a giant one. Must be downstairs. <coughs> and finally, the unworn bike jacket. I got them down London. There's a little furnace selling key rings with names on, so I said, Do me a Honda and do me a Steve. Yes, yeah, so that's unworn, ready to be replacing the one I currently have downstairs. Or oh, key tour. Can tell the sort of illegal copies, can't you, with a funny name. Let's check for £20 notes. No. So there we are, look at that lot. A herd of cows on my bed. What was I thinking of? Money wise, there must be 500 quid there. Crazy. I'll never get that back. <sighs> I've got these dehumidifiers going there, should have dried the wall out. I don't know. Street Fighters book. These are what I've shown before, the uh, boot collection. Oops. And you see, these are more cross style. I remember buying them at Manchester, 79 99 Size 13, they've always been a bit tight because they're really thick leather. Proper motocross boots. A few belts. And the other boots. And yeah, why is that stuck in there? Unless it's, yeah, I think I've uh, got some of that liquid paint, shoe polish, not paint, I said paint. And dolloped it all over. They're just cheap boots. Akito, that's what that's meant to be a copy of that jacket. Akito or Kito. Here's my bell stuff. Yeah, bell stuff boots. I thought I were buying British. I bought them from a shop in Blackpool, John Hall's Honda. You think you're buying British, but in fact, it says made in bloody Italy. And some of the stitching came undone. Within a short time, so I took them back. Have you got your receipt? I said, No, I didn't think they'd fall apart. Oh, we can't do anything without a receipt. Yeah, can you see? With his form underneath. You're rubbish. But the boots are still fully functional, just coming away a little bit. Right, that's it. Well, I've got some of them little bags of silica crystals, they're meant to absorb damp. Silica gel. The only other boots I've got are from Silverman's in London and they're meant to be, it said police issue £165 trophy gold top police issue but you can see how floppy they are, they're not thick leather at all but they are nice quality, GT gold top size 13 I mean police issue maybe they were for uh, display riding, you know, polish them up and then escort the Queen around London. This is a nice quality. Commando style. Made in England. It's hide. It's hide. What's that meant to mean? Complete with a stone in. Nice one, aren't they? They still sell them, but they're a lot more expensive. I got them for 165. Now they're well over 200 quid. <coughs> Anyway, that's enough for now. That's my paper. Like I said, I might not need that if that can go back on. Pain it out. The crappy terrace house is all damp. <coughs> I had an old chap who was a maintenance uh, property repair, you know, I had a look at it. And he said, you know what, lad, it's condensation. Get some dehumidifiers going. So I bought one from Aldi. It's a cheap 34 99 one. It work, but they take ages to fill up proper ones, which costs 200 quid. He'll do it in a couple of days and fill up litres and litres of damp. 
And these are just gradual ones which I can safely leave on all day. <coughs> oh, yeah. So, there we are, a mountain, a herd of cows on my bed. Mmm! So, if there's any large people want a jacket cheap or jeans or boots, you're quite welcome. A uh, Porsche will be a penny ass, so I don't know, I could meet you somewhere with them in a the top box. But maybe you know a cheap leather place anyway, and it's not even worth getting second hand leathers, you know. Maybe you don't like second hand stuff, but I can assure you it's all spotlessly clean, apart from them buggies with the bloody spots on mildew. <coughs> I'll keep them elsewhere. Don't smell damp, you smell a nice new book leather. If you give them a rub over with something, it might not come back. It's just that it's because it's not shiny, you know, it's new book raw leather. Very sexy. <laughs> That's why it's prone to bloody little white spots. I just keep my eye out for any more developing. You know, you can see the nice quality, can't you? Hmm? Go on, put them on and give your wife a treat. Can you see what I've got on, baby? No, I've not got my glasses on, but it's all wrinkly. It needs ironing. Anyway, I think I'll knock it off. I'll get busy. So it's moving furniture today, paper off tomorrow and paint the wall. Friday start painting, uh, papering. And I don't think I'll be ready for painting by Sunday, I'll leave it for a week. Shit, that's when I forgot to buy that bloody fancy bit round the top. That was from Wilkinson's, I've just been to Wilkinson's. I might be able to reuse that, because I had to pin it up with drawing pins before, because it won't stick to this blown vinyl. So anyway, it's not urgent, is it? Can always go back and get a roll. Actually, do I still have some? Hmm, uh, little bit. Thought I'd have some more somewhere. <coughs> Where's my steamer? Don't think I'll need that, it's all going to come off by hand. I don't know. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> no bikes. This weekend it's papering. Let me know if you want any letters. Okay. Bye for now. Bye bye.